Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am just finishing up a few swatches, just a few, out of the haul that you see me do last week. And on top of that haul, I got four new Luxa polishes. I've never had any Luxa polishes before, but I got the glow in the dark. Alexa, stop. We don't know. I got four of the Luxa Glow in the Dark Pal. <laughs> it's the first four of that brand, let's say, that I have had before, and I'm enjoying them. It's hard to tell coverage from a glow in the dark polish, of course, but everybody raves that they uh, have great. Um, capacity like that they have great coverage so I believe them and I may down the road get a few more colors I'm not sure I oh he's ramming that into the oven so just getting this stuff put away for my next client I did have a cancellation today and left it because it really just actually made it so that I can have lunch that's what I'm going to do I think I have a can of soup here it's supposed to storm all day so they claim thunderstorms this looks different in the mirror than it does on camera and um you know we're just we're just gonna figure it out and it's gonna be okay so i'm gonna get rid of the garbage finish up my iced coffee that i brought with me oh my amazon storefront i will link it below it's in my link tree always is back open. So somebody had messaged me and was like, hey, I just went to your Amazon store and it's not available or whatever, it's closed. So it took like two weeks of messaging with them, but I got it back. So you can see all of my favorites down below. I try to only keep like money saving stuff in there. I'm gonna do a big revamp here shortly. This dress also from there, highly recommend. I don't know if you're gonna stay there or not, but hey, I'm in between clients. I have a fill coming in, let's say 15 minutes. And I'm gonna swing my light around and make like three swatches, maybe even two. Because I just need to get this stuff done. You guys know how much I stinking hate doing swatches. So I'm just digging them out whenever I can. Woo. Okay. And I'm actually watching Holly Gabrielle. Holly Gabrielle, she's a nurse, but she does these day in the life, and I really, really love them. And she also has these two, well, one in this video. So I just found her. So I'm like watching. Sorry, you probably can't hear me. I'm like back watching her stuff. Uh, so this one's from two years ago, and it's day in the life of a nurse. Uh, but her stuff's not like nursing specific or these videos aren't i think she does do some like study with me sort of stuff from like back but these videos in particular i'm just like picking up just picking up a glitter bells that hasn't been swatched yet this one is a fair and it's a pinky color i think let's get it labeled i just use a sharpie marker guys i know that there's label makers and I actually have one but I'm just not that interested I hate making swatches we've discussed this and ooh, that's pretty yeah okay I'll show you on the swatch it's gonna be a lot easier and I did if you go one video back if you want to see the haul from this stuff I did a haul so one coat is gonna be all it needs very pretty color cannot wait to do my own nails missing one picked it off this weekend it was tractor pull weekend here and yeah we're all just a bunch of rednecks but it was tractor pull weekend and i was just standing them there watching them go and i never pick nails off but off it went there was a little hitch in it, and I just picked and picked and picked, and then off it went. Um, 
so another thing I really, really, really super suggest about these tabs that you see me using that give this effect is that you paint the underside of them, not the above side, not the top side, the bottom side. Some of my gel polishes are the top side's done, some of them the bottom side's done, uh, so it's just hit and miss, but I prefer to do the underside. It seems to fade a little less. I have some over there that are so faded that need redone, like, is it this one? Yeah, so, I mean, you can kind of see how dull that is, and like, that's the color. So, I know that was probably a little bit faulty, uh, they need redone, but I have a hard enough time doing them the first time. I'm probably not doing them twice. So another thing I think I'm going to do today before I leave is pick the lime. I, I got to pick the lime. Actually, let's just pick it right now. Okay, I'm getting this on film, so the lime tree. <sighs> don't worry about the, the pink cardboard in the back. It's to keep the sun out. I don't want to put a blind up. Help me, help me with that. There's like 15 minutes in the morning when it's, un no, it's more than that. There's like a ha half an hour, excuse me, in the mornings that it's unbearable in here. And I always just put on that paper and I know <laughs> I know it's ratchet and I, I gotta find something else. But anyway, here we are. So if you have any ideas, I just need a blind, I know. Anyway, okay, are we ready for this? Y'all ready for this? It is huge, by the way. Do you think I can even like get it off of there with one hand? <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, I picked it. Oh, focus, okay. I picked it. I picked it. Oh my God. It smells limey. Not slimy, limey. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm betting it tastes like acrylic nails though, if I had to guess. Okay, I'm gonna wash it off and show the rest of the world, and then I'll be back. <laughs> so just to give you guys an idea of where I live, I am on a train bridge right now, and the salon is literally like right there. And it took me five seconds, and I just come out here look around, see the sights, it's a bit windy, I'm sure, that's downtown, it seems so mundane and boring for those of us that are from here, but I really love this view, I like to come out here, if I have like a five minute break, or even a ten minute break, I will come out and just stand here. I'm like a quarter of the way across, but I seem to always stop right here. There was just a boat that went by. I don't know where it went. But yeah. That's where I'm at. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen this time. So, you guys requested to see uh, more Molly, so that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. You can't see her right now, but just give me a minute. I wanted to show you on camera for the first time, because I've never gotten this on camera before, just a second. Miss Molly's reaction to, you can't say it out loud, but let's just take a look at what happens when I start snapping these. <laughs> Oh no, the garbage truck is coming. She loves the garbage truck. Do you hear her? <laughs> Molly. Oh, what is that noise, mom? Do, do I hear noise? What is it? Oh my God, this is my stomach growling. I hope you can't hear that. Look, yeah. She's a little bit nervous with the light. Oh, oh my goodness, it's her favorite thing. 
So this is all we'll do for the next couple of weeks as green beans are a thing right now. You want more? Can you sit? Can you whisper? Yeah, okay. Can you sit? Can you sit? Can you whisper? Yeah. She'll only do that so many times before she's like, Freak you, I'm just gonna bark. Sit. Oh no, we're not very good at that game. I know the light is scary. So I literally had to use my light as um, a tripod because I didn't have enough, I didn't have enough height to be able to speak to you. So it's been a minute. I made a little shift. My Instapot is like, you know how they gear up for takeoff or whatever? It's doing that. So if you hear a weird noise in the background, you're about four feet away from an Instapot that's ready to take flight. Yeah, so I stopped at the local market and I'm gonna just show you what I got because I got some cool things. Is everything here? Yeah, it must be. Okay, so my silverware is literally a drying because my, thank you. My dishwasher doesn't dry my stuff anymore. So new potatoes, um, green and yellow beans, am I allowed to say it now? Peas, which I probably should have gotten more of, but anyway. So we're gonna have hodgepodge. If you don't know what hodgepodge is, for God's sake, look it up um, and make yourself some because. So I got milk just to make sure that we have lots and real butter because, I mean, margarine really is fine, but I got real butter. I also, Purchased my favorite honey, which I eat a lot of honey, actually. In, if I'm having a smoothie and I want it to be more sweet, more milkshakey, just looking for something sweet, I'll put that honey in it. And also it's local, so I really like that whole local honey thing. Let me put the milk away. There's literally two liters, four liters, two, two liters of milk in there now, three of them, so cool. Um, so I got that, the butter, I'm gonna leave it out so that it's easier to manhandle. I also got some just shea butter that I might throw an essential oil in it, I might not, but my skin is so dry, summer, winter, doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah, done that. I should be snapping me into this. Okay. I also got cherries. Oh my God. Cannot wait to eat those. A Zevia zero calorie energy mango ginger, 120 milligrams of caffeine, zero sugar, energy drink. I get them every once in a while. I got a cup of calm lavender mint tea. I'm sure I didn't need tea. I also got a Thunderbird bar, superfood bar, apricot, almond, and vanilla. Real food, unreal taste, zero added sugar, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that's what that looks like. Put down. So, kind of looking forward to that, very hungry. I also got local chicken breast, which are what is in the Instapot. And I got some of this. Have you guys ever, I get it. Have you guys, I don't know if you've eaten this. It is good. It is really good. Um, so I just got one of those. I wouldn't mind maybe getting like, I don't know, those little things are great. But it might be cool to get like a big thing of it at some point. So that's what I got. I feel like there was more, but I went into the salon and cleaned to get ready to go back to work tomorrow. This is my day off. So I chose to take a few extra days off this summer, which I've never done before. So instead of taking a week, because I have no reason to take a week, I have taken a bunch of Tuesdays off. So just Tuesdays. Um, I have Mondays off anyway, which if you're in the industry, you know it's not really off. You might not be doing clients, but it's not really off. You have so much stuff to do. You're always still answering your phone, or most of us are. 
some of you guys have your clients trained that you don't answer on Mondays, but I always do just to get the notification out of the way usually. And yeah, so that's what we're doing. Oh, I think my hair is different than last vlog. I feel like I say that a lot lately, but I am, I know, I also feel like I say, I'm gonna leave it this way, but I think I'm gonna leave it this way. Honestly, I don't know why you guys put up with me sometimes. So I'm realizing that although I did say look it up, <laughs> I didn't explain to you what hodgepodge is and not everybody might know. So, sorry, I'm like starving, so. The Kirkland steak strips, cured and dried beef steak strips. So it's like jerky, extra thick cut. There's a dog looking for green beans. Do you hear the crunching? Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay. Um, also, I'm not feeding this to anybody else. It's us eating it. Actually, it's not even us eating it. It's me eating it. Anyway, hodgepodge. So I don't know if you Google it what it actually says, but I like to do beans, peas, potatoes. All have to be new. All have to be fresh. You are cooking them for the allotted amount of time. Usually I put the potatoes in and then the beans and peas. Peas kind of last. You're not in any big hurry to get them all in at the same time, but it's also gonna be cooked to however you like it to be cooked. Then, um, once it's cooked, you drain it off all together in the same pot. You drain it off and then you put in milk to cover or cream or a mixture. Um, for some people, it's like the only time of year they use whole milk is when they're doing this. I just use 2% because we don't go through a crazy amount of milk, so what's the sense in buying? Anyway, I use 2%. And real butter and uh, like a half a block. No joke, half a block. Um, salt and or pepper, depending on what you like. I like to have a ton of salt on this, a ton. Like go big or go home kind of salt. And you let the milk heat up, the butter melt. Then you spoon it all onto a plate with sideboards, like a plate with sideboards. So if you don't have a plate with sideboards, a pie plate will do. It has to have sideboards. And then you put more butter on it. This is personal preference. <laughs> you put more butter on it and more salt. And then you eat it until you think you're gonna be sick. And then you repeat it the same the next day with the leftovers. So that's how you make and eat hodgepodge. Let me know if you make it. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you eat it. Also, let me know what you replace milk with if you or the people you feed can't have milk. So my friend Jamie, you guys know Jamie, and I were discussing this. What do you what do you milk replacement that with? Anything? Do you? Oat milk? I don't think it's almond milk. Maybe. Oat milk. Or is there like a milk, like a lactose free milk that is truly lactose free? I don't know. I don't know any of the answers to those questions, but I'm really glad I don't have to know the answers to those questions. Okay, you guys, so I'm almost done what I was doing. I'm just gonna close off this vlog. I don't even know what kind of footage I have from before, and I know that this vlog was a huge mishmash of salon stuff and home stuff, but you know, it's life. I have peas and beans, which all of those peas really only made that much. It's like a thankless job, chilling pea. But I am going to take, and I wanted to do this with the beans too, and then I forgot and I threw them in the garbage. But um, these are all of the pea pods, so I'm just gonna take them out and put them like under my um, bird feeder. I think, well, we have mostly crows here, but I think the crows will like them. I'm also half stemming these cherries because I may as well take these out too, but anyway. Okay, so I'm going to take those out. I'm going to close off this vlog for now. So I might have mentioned, <coughs> oh, sneezes. You got the anxieties. So I might have mentioned this before, but Molly really hates anything that you hold in your hand. So camera, 
Um, if I'm holding something in my hand that she has seen thousands of times, my emotional support water bottle. I have a water bottle that I literally carry around my life with me, including my house. No, I'm scared. Um, my cell phone, things that she has seen, like a book, a hat, if I'm coming in from the back deck, whatever, she hates it. She hates it. So when I'm holding the camera, she hates it equally. So she's just kind of like, mom, I don't like it. But here we are with one last green bean and we're gonna say bye to the vlog. Say bye to the vlog, can you whisper? Whisper, 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 mommy. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you next time, which hopefully won't be too long. I really. Now I've said this before, but I really, really, really want to vlog more. I really want to be more consistent with these vlogs. And I really want to know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see life? Do you want to see salon? Do you want to see both? Um, sometimes it's just fun to uh, watch other people's vlogs, but I get in my head about it. Like this morning, I was like, why would I vlog my day? Who wants to watch this? And then I'm watching vlogs all morning, drinking my coffee about other people's day. I want to watch this. Everything that brought me alive